Welcome to the new series of videos where I test and review vintage gear. This time we have EXR Exciter EX3 on the bench. Despite the name Exciter, this is actually an equalizer. We are having a comparison with another legendary equalizer, Kush Audio Clarifonic. Both of these units are high frequency equalizers. They don't do anything with the dynamics and they don't add significant harmonic distortion. Currently we are comparing process B in EXR against the shimmer adjustment in Clarifonic. As you can see the responses are quite similar except the EXR has a dip in the 1 kHz region. Adjusting the amount of processing just gives you a treble boost and doesn't change the overall gain. This is the first significant difference between these units. EXR has four different processes to choose from. We are now looking at process B. This is A. This is C. And this is D. Clarifonic has two different adjustments, which are clarity and focus. Let's take a look at clarity, which is the high treble boost. Here we also have four modes, which are silk and presence, sheen, and then we go back to the shimmer. Now, this is in my opinion, the most annoying feature of Clarifonic. When you boost the high frequencies, you also boost the overall level of the signal. Now, in this case, we are giving about 6 dB of boost to the 20 kHz region, but we are also giving about 2 dB boost in overall level. This behavior makes it really difficult to do true A-B comparisons. And as you can see, in the EXR we don't have this problem. So this round goes definitely to EXR. Now Clarifonic is definitely more versatile unit than EXR since it has also this focus control which is lower treble lift. There are also four combinations. First one is lift tight. And this is open tight, open diffuse, and lift diffuse. But in this video we are not focusing on the focus control, we are talking about the clarity control because it's more closely related to EXR unit. Let's move to noise and harmonic distortion. As you can see in this graph, this clarifonic trace is not perfectly stable. So let's look at the harmonic distortion graph to see what it's all about. We can immediately see a couple of things here. So the EXR is transformer balanced, so it creates some harmonic distortion, mainly second order. Clarifonic on the other hand is electronically balanced, so it doesn't really create any harmonic distortion. The THD of EXR is minus 97, so it's not really a color box, the distortion is below CD level. Now, in terms of noise, both of these units are definitely mastering quality. But I was really impressed how quiet the EXR is. When I lower the signal level, I think what we see is the noise from the converters, not the EXR unit. About the signal levels, the EXR has half a dB loss in the signal level. And it also clips 1 dB earlier than Clarifonic. I don't know the absolute levels because my measurement is not calibrated. In my opinion, this is absolute bargain unit. You can buy these with 200 bucks on eBay. There are also at least SP1, SP2 and EX4 models of the same unit. And I would love to test if they perform the same. All in all, I would say this is a bargain unit and it'll definitely stay in my bus and master rack. Next, let's take an audio comparison between these units and see how close they really are. Here we are in Reaper. I recorded a piece of music through both of these units and somehow I messed up with the levels, so I needed to take down the Clarifonic by 1.6 dB. I also added this 1 kHz dip to Clarifonic to get best possible null. Let's take a listen. Let's 
Let's make a null test. We can see that we are hovering around minus 20 LUFS. And it drops to about minus 50, so we have about minus 30 dB null. This is actually amazing since the other unit is transformer balanced and the other one is electronically balanced. Thank you for watching. I have a ton of weird analog gear in my studio, so leave a comment if you want to see more reviews like this. Take care. Bye.